Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea, and today we're going to be doing our story and meditation about walking. So let's find our story here online today. Our story is called Steps and Stones. Recess is On's favorite part of the day, but not today. Today, his friends Sam and Charlie ran right past him, not even looking his way. Wait, on call. we're supposed to dig. I brought shovels and everything. We don't want to dig, said Sam, bouncing a big red ball in the dirt. Yeah, echoed Charlie, digging is for babies. We're playing kickball instead. On felt like he'd been punched in the stomach. I don't want to play kickball, he said. I want to dig. But Sam and Charlie were already kicking the ball around and On was left alone. On walked to the shade of the oak tree, a salty tear rounding the corner of his lip he leaned against the tree and watched as the tear made a tiny puddle in the dirt. I'm glad you finally stopped, said a voice. I've been trying to get your attention. On lifted his head and saw a dark silhouette and a pair of red sneakers. Anger, said On, is that you? It's me, said Anger. You know I always show up when things aren't going your way. On looked at his anger. He hadn't seen him for a while. Why were you wearing all that stuff, On asked. I almost didn't recognize you. I was trying to be inconspicuous, Anger whispered. I'm not sure if I'm allowed at school. On and Anger sat together, watching the other kids play kickball. Sam and Charlie were supposed to dig with me, said On. I know, said Anger. Now I have no one to play with, On said, and Charlie thinks I'm a baby. I can think of a thing or two I'd like to say to Charlie, said Anger. Me too, said On. I'd stand up to him and I'd say, I'm no baby. And then, said Anger excitedly, we'd grab the ball and we'd throw it at him. Come on, said Anger, let's find Sam and Charlie. Anger jumped up and started to run. I don't know, On said, maybe this isn't such a good idea. Can we slow down? On and Anger began walking together slowly. With their first step, they took a breath in. Their next step, they let the breath out. One step breathing in, one step breathing out. I've never walked this slowly before, said Anger. It feels funny. Let's try counting our steps, On suggested. Maybe that will help. One, two, three. On and Anger quietly counted the rise and fall of each step. Four, five, six. On could feel his breath moving up and down in his belly. Seven, eight, nine. It's hard to concentrate, said Anger. I keep losing my count. 10, 11, 12. On felt a cool breeze behind him, gently pushing him toward the field. 13, 14, 15. The slow rhythm of On's breath comforted him and he started to feel better. Anger called On, are you still there? I'm right here, Anger answered softly. What are you doing, said On. I'm a little tired, said Anger. I think I should stay here and rest. Okay, said On. I can go on by myself now. Wait, said Anger, handing On a dandelion. Make a wish. On closed his eyes and drew in a big breath. He blew it out and watched the dandelion seeds scatter. Now you make a wish, said On, turning to Anger. But Anger had already faded away. On rose to his feet and he slowly walked toward the field. The sun was warm on his face and he wanted to play. 16, 17, On couldn't help walking a little faster. 18, 19, 20, On said the sound of his voice surprising him. 20 what? Someone asked. It was Sarah, a girl from his class. Uh, 20 steps from there to here, said On. He pointed back toward the big oak tree. Why were you counting your steps, she asked. On thought about his anger, the oak tree and the slow walk. He thought about Charlie and Sam. Ah, uh, it's a long story, he said. I like long stories, Sarah said, poking in the dirt. Hey, look what I found. Wow, said On, that is a really cool rock. Sarah held the sh small shimmering stone up to the sun and it sparkled in the light. I've never seen a rock like that before, said Sam, running up. I know, said On. You can find a lot of neat stuff when you dig. 
You haven't told us your story, Sarah said. Why were you counting steps? Yeah, said Charlie, coming over. Why were you counting so slowly? Charlie, Sam, and Sarah gathered round. Come on, they said, tell us. On looked at his friends and smiled. Recess is my favorite part of the day, On began. And it still was. And that is the end of our story. So now we're going to do our meditation. I'm going to ring our bell and we'll get started as soon as the sound stops. Okay. Here we go. Gently close your eyes and take in a nice deep breath. In our meditation today, we're going to be going on a pretend walk in our minds. Take several deep breaths and allow your body to relax more and more with each deep breath. Notice how peaceful you become with this deep breathing. Notice how all your muscles begin to relax and feel good and loose. Continue to breathe normally now as I guide you on our walk. Imagine yourself now walking down a well-worn path in a beautiful forest. The trees have changed all their leaves and now you see an amazing display of colors. Gold, red, orange, speckles of green. Leaves crunch beneath your feet as you walk along. The air smells so crisp and fresh. Its coolness tickles your nose and ears. It feels so wonderful to be out here in nature, enjoying the beauty of this place. In the distance, you hear a waterfall and you carefully walk toward the rushing water sound. As you come to the path's end, you see the rushing stream. You see the most beautiful white waterfall right in front of you. It's so calming and looks as if wet sunshine is cascading down onto large rocks. The sound of rushing water relaxes you. The water must be pretty cold because it's fall now and days are growing shorter. Soon there may even be snow. Sit down a while and enjoy the spectacular scenery. Listen as the water pounds down on the rocks. Hear any stress or worries you have seem to be washed away for good. The sound of the waterfall gushing down seems to make you relax more and more. It clears your mind and washes away any frustration and difficult thoughts. Allow the sounds to wash away any worries just let them go. You may notice that you're feeling calm and relaxed here in this place. This magical forest dressed up for fall is a special place just for you. You can come back here at any time to calm your body and mind and let go of any worries or stress. You know that everyone has worries and stress sometimes. The difference is that you know how to deal with them. When you want to relax and find peace, you can come here just by thinking of this place and imagining yourself here. This calm, peaceful place by the waterfall invites you to wash away your worries or stress anytime. You feel so good and refreshed now, you can feel renewed with fresh energy entering your body and refreshing you completely. You've done a great job today. Now you can just drift off into a wonderful deep sleep for beautiful dreams and a very peaceful night. Now we're going to listen to our bell again as we come back.
And if you're not ready for sleep yet, that's just fine. Or if you are, then I hope that you have a really wonderful night. And otherwise, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you again soon.